What is up you guys? Megan Houston here, your dietetic intern. And for today's video, I'm gonna run you through a 10 to 15 minute stretch routine. I think it is super important to work out, it's super important to eat healthy, but it's also really, really important to stretch. And a lot of times people just don't stretch because they just don't know what to do. So I'm gonna run you through this qu quick 10 minute flexibility routine that you can do in the mornings, you can do it in the afternoons when you get off work. But I promise you, when you start to stretch your body daily, you will start to feel so much better, your joints feel better, your muscles are more loose, they're not so tight, you can do more things, you're not having that back pain or that knee pain. So go ahead and find an open spot. I'm going to use a yoga mat, but you can just do it on the floor if you wish or use a towel. And let's get right into it. To begin, find an open area, bring your feet forward. I'm going to just turn to the side so you can see me better. Take a big inhale, reach your arms up, and then reach forward and grab as far as you can. Obviously, I can grab my toes, but if you need to grab your shins or your knees, the biggest thing that you want to remember is that you want to try to keep your spine nice and straight and long rather than bending over and creating a rounded shape. So try to create a nice straight spine. You'll feel this in your back and in your hamstrings. I love this stretch to begin with feels so good. Try to hold it, take deep breaths. The longer you hold something, the more your body can relax and go deeper into the stretch. Slowly come back out. And then we're gonna do a Janu A. So you're gonna bend one leg in, you're gonna place your foot to the inside of your inner thigh. Face towards your straightened leg and then fold forward and either grab your knee, your shin, your ankle, the back of your foot, wherever you are. Remember to pull your lower belly in and then pull your shoulders down your back away from your ears. Try to reach the crown of your head to the top of your foot. This is gonna feel really, really good in that hamstring. Remember to flex that front foot. And then you're just gonna switch sides. Make sure that you do both sides. Wanna keep the body as even as possible. Folding up and over. And when you reach up and over, remember to take a deep breath in and then as you fold over, exhale. Use your breath to try to find more space. Take a big inhale, lift up some, and then as you exhale, fold deeper. Now you should never feel any pain. It's okay to feel discomfort, but if you're feeling any pain, you're probably going a little bit too far and need to pull out of it just a little bit. We need to push ourselves, but we don't need to hurt ourselves. Slowly come back up. And then we're gonna take a butterfly position. Now you want your feet about two fist widths in front of your waist. And then you're just gonna fold forward. Don't put any pressure on your knees. Let the knees come down by themselves. Keep your shoulders down your back. Reach the crown of your head forward and pull your abs in. The more that you pull your abs in, the further you can fold. If you release your abs, it makes it a lot harder for you to fold forward. Deep breaths. Just relax here as much as you can. Slowly come back up and then get ready for the next stretch. And then I took off my shoes. It might be a little bit easier without shoes. It is for me. We're going to take a forward fold here. So I have my feet about three feet apart. The back foot is in line with my hips. So I have about hip width distance between the feet. And then I fold over my straight leg. I'm going to turn to the side so you can get a better side view. But as you can see, my hips are in one line. Both legs are straight. Press the outer edges of your feet down and contract your thighs. If you need to bend your front leg because you were tight, that's totally fine. But over time, if you continue to stretch, this will straighten. And even as you contract your thighs, that protects your hamstrings when you're stretching them. 
Remember to pull the lower belly in and feel for reaching your bottom rib cage up and over your kneecap. Relax the back of the neck and then slowly come back up and switch the sides. Now it's totally normal for one side to be a little bit tighter than the other. Uh, that's, that's very, very normal. But always think about pulling the hips together and towards the center, almost like you're scissoring the floor in between your feet. It's gonna activate your inner thighs. It's gonna be a isometric hold. So this should not be super easy. You're really using your muscles to stretch your body. Nice deep breaths. And then slowly come back up. Then we're gonna do a separate leg stretching. Pigeon toe your toes, your big toes in just a little bit. Put your hands on your hips, take a big inhale, and then exhale, fold forward. Then place your hands onto the floor if you can, and then walk your hands back towards your feet as you rock your weight into the balls of your feet. Feel for uncurling your tailbone up to the ceiling as you reach the crown of your head down towards the floor. Pull the lower belly in, and then move your hands to the right or left, whichever you prefer first. Really stretching that side body, the obliques, shoulder, tricep. And then switch to the other side. Try to keep your hips in one line while you're doing this. Remember to contract your thighs to protect the hamstrings. Lengthen the back of your neck as you reach your head down to your toes. Slowly come back to the center and come all the way back up. Then we're going to be doing a spine twist here, I believe. So first you're going to come into a low lunge. You want to make sure that your knee is going directly over your ankle and is in line with your big toe. You're going to push your hips forward and you're really going to feel the stretch in that back leg. Then if you have a little bit of space and this is easy for you, you can kick your back leg up and then grab your toes and try to pull your foot towards your tailbone. Like I said, this is a little bit more advanced, so if you're in the start of this low lunge, that's totally fine. Just stay right there, and over time, you'll get here. Remember to try to keep your chest up while in this position. Keep the knee tracking over the big toe. Here comes the spine twist, bringing the elbow to the outside of the knee, stacking your hands in a prayer position, and then looking over your shoulder. Pull your abdomen in and feel for pressing it towards the opposite side you are twisting. Push the hips forward and remember to contract that back thigh and butt cheek. The more you pull your abs in here, the easier it is to twist. Then we're going to come into a runner's lunge, shifting the hips back, straightening the front leg, contract your thigh, and flex your front foot. Try to fold your body over your front leg as much as you can. You're really gonna feel this in your hamstrings, especially if you're tight. That is where I'm the tightest, but it feels so good when you release them, help them stretch them out a little bit. And you can stay in these positions longer than I am if you need to. You can always stop the video and continue to hold a pose. And then when you're ready, you can start it again and move forward. And then we're going to switch the sides. So we're going to take that lunge again to fill into the front side of that hip flexor. A lot of times people think their hamstrings are tight, but what's really holding them back from feeling good in their body is actually their hip flexors. These can get really tight if you sit a lot at a desk or if you bicycle or walk, anything where your hips are going forward the whole entire time of the day can really tighten up those hip flexors. And when you hold your foot and pull it towards your tailbone, that's really, really gonna stretch that out. Remember to keep your chest up, spine nice and straight, 
knee tracking over, second toe, knee and ankle in one line, pushing the hips forward, breathing deeply. We're gonna take that spine twist, bringing the elbow to the outside of your knee, stacking your hands in prayer and looking over your shoulder. I shortened my forward lunge just a little bit more 90 degree angles, just so I could focus more on twisting my thoracic spine rather than feeling more my legs. I wanted to really focus on my spine here. And then coming back into that runner's lunge, straightening the front leg, pulling the hips backwards, flexing the front foot, and trying to reach the crown of your head towards your front big toe. Take deep inhales here. Slow, steady exhales. Slowly come back up. And then we're going to take a, another spine twist here. So you're going to bring your one leg down and then you bring your other leg up and over, knee and ankle touching. Bring your elbow to the outside of the top knee. Look over your shoulder and twist. If this is really hard for you, you can straighten that bottom leg and it makes it a little bit easier. But really try to pull your navel in here and feel for twisting your middle and your upper back. This is gonna feel really, really good. For the most part, we don't try to stretch our spines out and this is an easy way to do it all by yourself. No chiropractor necessary here. And then just switch the sides, making sure to keep our body nice and equal. Twisting up and over the shoulder, trying to keep the spine nice and straight, pressing the elbow into the knee and the knee into the elbow. Pressing the opposite knee down into the floor and make sure that you have both hips grounded into your mat, your towel, whatever you're sitting on. Then we're going to lay down, create a T with your arms, and then slowly fold over, feeling the stretch in that shoulder. And if you have a little bit further to go, you can clasp your hands together here. If you can't do that, that's totally fine. I have pretty flexible shoulders, so this is a little bit easy for me, but this helps me get a little bit deeper into this stretch. This is really gonna feel good in the pec muscle, in the triceps. You'll feel this all in your front chest. Slowly switch the sides. Don't be surprised if one side's a little bit more open than the other. You do have a dominant hand. I'm left-handed, so I'm a little bit tighter in my left shoulder, left chest compared to my right, just because I use it more. It's totally normal. That just means that I need to stretch it more, take care of that side more, so that it'll be equal to my right. I really enjoy stretching outside, especially on a pretty day. Makes it feel so, so good. Then take your feet and make them about hip width distance apart. Then place your forearms down in front of you and then press your chest up. Imagine that you're pulling your elbows back towards your body. This is a sphinx pose. And then press the tops of your feet down. Contract your thighs, lift your kneecaps away from the floor. This is going to really feel good in that lumbar, that lower spine. And then you can move your hands back for a seal pose. Really feeling a stretch in the front body and the hip flexors. And then come into a tabletop position. Knees underneath the hips hands underneath the shoulders, and then face your fingers back towards your knees, and then slowly rock your weight back and forth, feeling the stretch in the back side of the forearms and in the tops of your wrists. We never seem to stretch our hands, yet we use them every single day. So it's really, really good to stretch them. Make sure that they have some movement in there, changing the direction that they are usually in. 
and then make sure that you pull it in the opposite direction. So I'm doing one hand, pulling the fingers back towards my body, and then just the opposite hand. You don't have to hold this very long, but it's a nice release from what we just did. Then shake it out. And then I like to pull my fingers one at a time back towards my face as far as they can go. Not trying to put in any pain, but just stretching my fingers out. Make sure you do all 10. And then you are done. All right, you guys, that was about 15 minutes worth of stretching. I think that's a good amount of time in the mornings after a workout just to sit and stretch your legs, stretch your arms and your chest. I tried to hit almost every muscle group in this little stretch routine. If you like this, please leave a comment down below and I'll do another one for you guys. But just remember that stretching is just as important as working out, just as important as eating healthy. They all work together to make you a fit and healthy person. So don't forget to stretch at the end of a walk. Don't forget to stretch at the end of the heaviest workout that you have. It's always important. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell down below so you'll know of every upload, and I'll catch you guys later.